Power on the Pokemon Fan 993 here, back with more Pokemon TCG Online. First off, we're gonna go into our inventory. And we're gonna open some packs and chests and some other stuff for a little bit, and then we're gonna move over to um, a couple of battles, a couple of uh, card battles. So let's open one of these, actually, these very high end. So I got the Stage 2 Weavile, HP 110, Water Rapid Strike. Two hit KO. Dragon Esper is defending Pokemon if it's damaged by an attack from Rapid Strike Pokemon, it'll be knocked out. Wow, that's na nasty. Nasty plots. Reject from the two cards to put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Let's open three battle styles, because I have six of them. So, nothing there. One. One new card. Uh, Reverse Hollow State Street of Oblivion. HP 120. Grasp. Vital Power. Heal all damage from two of your bench Pokemon. Gust. 90. Pack 90. Or pack 2. Pack 90. One. I already had the VMAX Corp, and that's pretty good, too. We have the basic... Reverse Hollow Mankey, HP 60, Fighting Single Strike. Focus Fist, 50. Flip a coin if Tails attack does nothing. Last pack. Out of Battle Styles. One. One new card. Basic Scatterbug, Reverse Hollow, HP 40, Grasp. Surprise attack, 30. Flip a coin if Tails attack does nothing. Let's open like, let's go, uh, let's see, nine. Let's open up. Four chilling rains. Probably got all the cards for this, this set too. One. Ooh, two new cards. Look at that one. Basics of Viper, HP, Reverse Hollow, HP 110, Dark, Single Strike. Strong Tail, 90 plus. If you play a Single Strike support card from your ha hand during this turn, that does 90 more damage for a grand total of 180. Then we have the Reverse Rainbow Ultra Rare, Terran's Conviction Single Strike. During this turn, your Single Strike Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. Before I apply weakness and resistance. Pack number two. One. Two new cards. Series Support Reverse Hollow Clara. Choose one or both. Put up two Pokemon in your discard pile into your hand, or put... And or put two basic energy cards in your discard pile into your hand. Oh, I forgot to check that DJ. Oh well. Got a little antsy, I guess. Nothing new there. One more pack. One. Two new cards. Ooh. Basic Grookey. Reverse Hollow. HP 60. Grass. Rapid Strike. Hit twice. 30 times. Put two coins that does 30 damage for each head, so I can do anywhere from 0 to 60 damage. Then we have Basic Galarian Arcuno V, HP 210 Psychic, Ability Reconstitute. You may discard two cards from your hand in, or in order to use this ability. Once you turn, you may draw a card. Psyray, 110. Your opponent's edge Pokemon is now confused. Not bad. Oh, I have a lot of Revolving Skies. Jeez. Guess I haven't opened these packs in a while. Let's open... How many? There's 14? Jesus. Um, how much is this? Oh, it's seven of these. <laughs> they think on how much half 14 is. Pack number one. Two new cards. Basic C dot HP 50. Reverse hollow grass. Astonish 10. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and shuffles it into their deck. Then we have the basic wishy washy HP 30. Water rapid strike. Group power. The Pokemon has three or more water energy cards attached to get to 150 HP for a grand total of 180. Schooling shot, 30 plus. That does 30 more damage for each basic energy attached to this Pokemon. Wow, that, that means that card can be really powerful if you set it up just right. You get three of those, and then it gets to 150 HP and does a bunch more damage with schooling, sh schooling shot. Pack number two. One. One new card. 
card. Basic hip, hop hip. Uh, reverse Hollow HP 40 Grass Rapid Strike. Continuous spin 20 times. Flip a coin until you get tails. That does 20 damage for each head. Anywhere from 0 to how many you, you can flip pretty quick. So, pack number 3. 1. 2. 3 new cards. Stage 2 Braviary. HP 130 uh, Carless. Valiant Talons. 30 plus is it. Puts that Pokemon as an evolution Pokemon that does 60 more damage for a grand total of 90. Brave Bird, 150. This Pokemon also does 50 damage to itself. Reverse Hollow, stage 3. Fl uh, Floor Jazz. HP 130 Psychic. Rapid Strike. Ability, Rapid Strike Connection. As, as often as you like, in your turn, you may move an energy from one of your, rap one of your Pokemon to one of your Rapid Strike Pokemon. Wonder Shine, 110. Your opponent's other Pokemon is now confused. We have stage 2. Flapple, HP 80. Dragon. Acid Mucus, 50 times. That does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon's opponent's Pokemon to play that has an ability. Fighting Tackle, 80 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is, is a Pokemon V, that does 80 more damage for a grand total of 160. Pack number 4, I think. Yeah, 4. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 new cards. Masic Mareep. HP 60, Electric, Rear Kick 10, Electro Ball 30. Basic Dino, HP 60, Dragon. Call for Family, Switch Attack for a basic Pokemon to put into your pants and then shuffle your deck. Bite, 30. Hop Hip again, this one's just not Reverse Hollow. Then we have the Trainer Item Spirit Mask. If this Pokemon is card is attached to it, is the active spot as damage by attack. If your opponent's Pokemon even if it's knocked out, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Not bad. Oh, we got Reverse Hollow, Trainer Supporter, Ryan. You can use this, you can play this card only if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Pay this basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. We do search your po your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Then we have Stage 3 Seismic Toad, HP 170 Fighting, Shaky Wave 60. During your opponent's next turn, the Fendi Pokemon's attach cost 1 star more, and Strategic cost is also 1 star more. Hyper Voice 160. I think this is pack number 5. Yeah, number 5. One, two new cards. Reverse Hollow Basic Tropius, HP 110, Grass, Rally Back, 30 plus. If any Pokemon were knocked out by damage from your attack during your opponent's, opponent's, but from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, this attack does 90 more damage for a grand total of 120. Solar Beam, 100. Stage 2 Mitt Lilligans, HP 100, Grass, Dizzying Flower, 70. Flip a coin if has your opponent's edge Pokemon is now asleep. If tails your opponent's edge Pokemon is now confused. Two packs left. I think. Yeah. Or this. Ah, screw it. Nothing new there. I'll do one more. I don't, I don't I think I got that number wrong, but whatever. Last pack. One, two. Three new cards. Trainer item Moon and Sun Badge. If the Pokemon V this card is attached to its SP on Umbreon and its name, whether your opponent plays the Pokemon card. Whenever your opponent plays the Pokemon from your hand, prevent all effects. Have that card done to that Pokemon. Hmm. Trainer st Stadium Stormy Mountains. Once during each place when the player may search the deck for a basic electric or basic a dragon Pokemon, put it on the bench, then that player shuffles their deck. It's actually good for an electric deck. My electric one. Stage 3 Slay King, HP 180 Carless, Single Strike. Abilities Act Truly. If the statement is played, this Pokemon can't attack. Attack. Route 120. 120 plus. If this Pokemon is the this that's 30 more Pokemon for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That means let's see, 30 times 5 is 150. That means they could do a total under 278 damage under normal conditions. Now let's end this with opening up some of these. A couple of reward chests. Got five Poke Coins and Wilder, which I already have. Ten more Poke Coins and a Sable Sable I already have. Five more coins and a Lunatone I already have. Five both coins and Rose I already have. Five both coins and Macargo I already have. Jeez. Oh, here comes something different. Five both coins and this card. Uh, reverse Hollow Stage 2 Warrant. One Nitus, HP 120, Grass, Leaf Drain, 30, deal 30 damage from this Pokemon, Solar Cutter, 70. 
Not bad. Got in that rainbow card. That's pretty good. So let's go to our chal my challenges real quick and see what I got to do. Knock out 16. And 10 of which card 10. Let's do, um... Let's do my uh, water deck. I don't use my water deck very often. Your water deck. Also, they've announced that this game is going to be taken down to 2022, and it's going to be basically replaced with another Pokemon game, I believe, a Pokemon trading card game. And all the assets that you get from this game will be transferred to that game. So there's no worry about losing anything like that. Losing any of your cards or anything like that. Lost the coin flip, so I guess Joe's goes first, goes second. So he's going to go first. That works for me. something. My obvious choice is going to be one of my Sobbles that I have in my hand. Not a great hand. I was kind of hoping to get a V card or something like that in my hand, but I guess not. Put Sabo and Oshawa on the bench. Starts with Zigzagoon. Oh yeah, because I had Butt Tantrum. That attack is kind of overpowered, but whatever. He gave up. <laughs> that was the easiest victory I've ever done. Poke coins for doing almost nothing. Looking for opponent. Having a blast dot or underscore OIS. Now, I'm going to weak to grass with a weak to electric. Let's have a look. I forget. Yep, if his Pokemon are all electric types, I'm going to have to forfeit this match because it's going to be painful. Unless his Pokemon aren't that great. But if it's all like a bunch of V Pokemon and everything, then it's going to be an issue. Assuming that it's even true, he has the electric typing. Okay. Nothing too crazy off the bat. Might be able to be alright with this. Play Hop to draw three cards. Play Sobble. Activate Dive Ball. I can get a Tillion from my deck. And Tillion V Max too. Let's grab V Max and Tillion. That's going to come in handy. One energy on him. Snipe shot on Blitzel. That does 40 damage. Revitar Troll of Skies. Let's go for Gravity Drop. Ooh. That 120 damage. That's quite a bit. So then Bomb Tillion and Tillion V. Play BD to attach one water energy to Sobble. Evolve Sobble into Drizzle. Put another Sobble on my bench and go for Hydro Snipe. To knock out his Pokemon. Normally I'd be able to put a card from his energy into his hand, but since it's it's um fainted, there's hardly a point of doing that. Sorry, my dogs make a lot of noise. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Just wonder if we'll put two basic Pokemon for your discard pile in your hand or two basic energy for your discard pile to your hand. He's gonna choose his blitz on his other two energy cards. My problem with his Pinchurin is his ability to use hit that one ability, but I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. We're going to play Pokemon Center Way to heal 60 damage from Antillion. Uh, we are going to put another energy on Antillion VMAX, and we're going to go for Hydro Snipe. I'm allowed to put Energy Grab and Discard Pile into his hand, but Counter Cap Attack activates, so he gets th does 30 damage extra for me for each heads he gets, and he flips three of them. They do anywhere from 60 to 90 damage to me. I think I just beat him just now, just because I got those cards set up. I'm going to do that. We're going to put Antillion on my hand in case it doesn't work the way I want it to, but I think it's going to. Evolve Drizzle into Antillion. Go for Max Bolt. That should knock out both of them. Yep, he just realized it too. So he gave up. Well, those are two quite easy wins. And I got... Two tournament coins I never use. And that gave me how many? Three out of ten for the challenge. Oh, are you okay? Okay, you're fine. She's over here scr my dog's over here scratching the scratching her back on the carpet. It's like it was hurting or something. Okay. Now we've 
fight fight Kobe Cotton wins. Okay. Calling the coin flip. I lost the coin flip because I decided it goes first and second. I never got like in card games why people want to go second, and only because like it, it just basically makes it so yeah you could set up your Pokemon right, but opponent always gets the first shot in. Okay, so he had to take one Logan. I think I had to take at least one. Yeah. So no one gets any extra cards, but I got Inteleon V again. <laughs> Focus on Inteleon V on the bet for inactive. I have a couple of interesting cards in my hand too, so. Done. Let's see what we get. Because he starts Orbital V and I start with Inteleon V. A Mysterious Wave could be a problem though. Life do. What the hell does that do? Knock out your opponent takes one fewer prize card. Okay. Brings like Tish's bucket. That lets me get two more water energies from my deck and add to my hand. Put one on Inteleon if you want me to do snipe shot. Does forty. Uh, I am worried about the mysterious wave though, so I gotta be careful here. Cause mysterious wave does fifty damage for each energy attached to my active Pokemon, which means he does eighty every turn if he gets the um another energy on him. And with life do it means that I only take one prize card instead of two if I knock out that or beetle. So this could end very quickly for me if he decides to uh, get that other energy on him and just repeatedly use it over and over again. Let's see what he does. Yep, we go with mysterious wave now. Does eighty. Debating what I want to do now because I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make him swap out for right now. I'm not going to attack just because I want to get Inteleon's second attack in before I... Well, I probably could have kept attacking his um, Ore Beetle, when you think of it. Probably my best option anyway. I forgot it... Oh, come on, dude. It's 110 this time. If I do 130, that still isn't enough, though. Hmm, what do I do? Oh, that'll help. Nice card to draw. So I'm going to play Koga. I can't play Koga. God damn. Forgot. He's he well he beat me because I only have ten HP left, so well played I guess. I barely got any with anything going on that one, but he would have gone for Mysterious Wave anyway and turned out knocked out on Tilion, so he won that one. Next. Flash Girl eighty nine, which means if she has a full fire deck I should have an advantage. I use the word should because it's really not it's kinda hard to tell sometimes. Even if she did have a bunch of fire Pokemon, sometimes she could just win. Especially if she puts freaking Charizard in the deck. I don't get what everyone's hard on is for Charizard. I mean, I know he's a good, well, good, like a good Pokemon in battle, but other than that, it's just like, eh. It's just the same thing over and over again. It gets a little boring after a while. Okay, she has to reshuffle at least once. Mulligan. How many Mulligans? Once. Okay, so he has Kabuskin, which means he probably has Blaziken in, in her deck. Blacksmith, Torino, Scorched Earth. He might not have. She might not have any Charizards in her deck. Since she had to take one other card, I can draw one additional card, which gives me an energy. Cinderance. Oh yeah, I have the other version of that Cinderance. It's just that it's different art card art, and it uh has the same attacks though. Give nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile. Ignore energy to each of this Pokemon's attack cost. Okay, he puts one fire energy on Rotom. Pitch Vessel to get two more fire energies from his deck. End his turn, most likely. Her turn. My move. Perfect. I could not go draw on a better card than that. So, I'm going to put one energy on Sobble and end my turn. I'm going to put one more energy on Sobble next turn, and then I'm going to start putting energies on Oshawa, assuming that uh, he's still alive. Well, he's going to focus completely on Cinderance, so... Play Evo Soda. Probably develop Char... Oh, he does have freaking Charge on his deck. God damn it. Should have freaking known. No one... It's always Charizard. When you fight a fire deck, it's always Charizard. I really hope when they make this new Pokemon one in 2022, they're supposed to re replace this one that they actually, um, you know, make a ban list. Because I'm tired of fighting the same, like, two or three Pokemon. Put another Oshawa on the bench and end my turn. Next turn, I evolve Drizzle and then Tilion, and then I gotta start messing with Oshawa. Evo Soda again. Both turn me into Charizard. 
I don't believe ESO should be an item card. This seems like a really overpowered card to be able to be used over and over and over again. Here, there, your turn should end after you use it. You just do that just to draw two cards. Battle sense. Wow, he didn't get a single card. My turn. I vote Grizzlin and Tilion. I think for right now, I'm actually going to avoid putting anything on my main Pokemon. I'm going to focus on my bench Pokemon first. The only problem with her using Battle Sense over and over and over again is the fact that you have to keep, uh... You have to keep discarding cards on top of your deck, and you can actually deck out this way. I've seen it happen before. You can go for Heat. The Heat Wave is going to be enough to knock out Oshawa. After she uses Battle Sense again. Put Sizzlepeed on a bench. Heat Blast. on him. Hydro shot. It's going to knock out Rotom with 200 damage. Normally I'd be able to discard and put a card back in their hand, but I'm not going to do that because... Ooh, I, that's actually a good card. Because um, it gets sent to the graveyard anyway. Or the discard pile, whatever you want to call it. Here now, draw three cards. Probably going to put an energy on Charizard and start attack. Why? That makes... Almost no sense. Alright, well, she wants to just buff up Charizard, then I guess I'll just have to respond. Or Sinrin, I mean. So since it's confused, I'm actually gonna. Well, no, hang on a second. Put two damage cards in the attack of Pokemon. So yeah, if I use Hydro Snipe, it doesn't matter which one I use, I'm gonna die anyway. But Weakness does do 210 damage. It's gonna make me lose all my life, but during the next turn, uh, she's gonna lose Sinrin's V. Bye. That means let me draw two more prize cards. Got a water energy and Sonya. Flame Cloak does 10 damage. Flip a coin. Head to get this an energy attached to him. Okay, now I need to. Okay, so I grabbed Sonya. I gotta get two basic Pokemon here. Fin and Talion, And another Sobble. Now I'm gonna put Talion on the bench. Put one energy on Talion. Play Sobble. Go for Seashell attack with Oshawa that does 40 damage. No, but does 20 damage because it's supposed to do 40 damage, but it minus 10 because of the heart charm he has on him. On her. So, and he's gonna go for Heat Crash. Heat Blast, I mean, most likely. Yep, that's it. Energy on Antillion, go for Snipe Shot. So I'm actually going to do something I don't normally do. I'm actually going to snipe some of his other Pokemon. Because in case no one ever, no one knows this, you actually can knock on a Pokemon when they're on the bench by using attacks like that. Better hope he has the energy to put on Charizard, otherwise he might be a little out of his league here. Nope, he's not. He's refusing to put energy on Charizard. That's interesting. Or she's interesting. He's going to go probably for Heat, Crash, and do 60 damage. I can heal it next turn with Pokemon Center Lee, though. Nope, he's swapping. That's interesting. I was just doing it to burn me. It's not a bad idea, but... I also don't have that great of one. Okay, this burn's still on me. So I've got... I'm going to roll Sobble into Grizzle. Um, unfortunately, I can't play any energy, so I'm just going to heal myself. And go for... The Snipe Shot again to hit... Poor chick. That's gonna knock it out. I get one more prize card, which happens to be Bird Keeper. That's pretty good. Another fire energy on him. That's gonna let him do 50 damage, I think. Yeah. Fire Claws, 50. My turn. 
if I can do this. I guess I'll just have to go with plant pad again. I guess I'm gonna go with there's charge right now, because charge is gonna be the biggest threat. And then several turns will be dead anyway. See, a stage three Pokemon 170 HP, that should not it the HP should not be that high for him. Searing flame another ten. Wait, no, yeah, because of the burn effect. It's like why is he doing the like all right burn effect? I forgot. Well the burn's on at least. Bird's Keeper. Switch to Drizzle. Let me draw three additional cards. Put another A Water Energy on Drizzle, which can do Rain Splash will do 40 damage. Or 60 damage, because Rain Splash does 30, my bad. I think I got our beat. Because the way I'm looking at it right now, Sierra Flame's going to do burn damage. I'm going to knock him out next turn with Drizzle. He's going to swap to something. He's going to knock out Drizzle, but then that gives me an opportunity to hit him with Inteleon V for a massive amount of damage. So first, we're going to play do that. We're going to go Pokemon Center way to heal Inteleon V of all its damage. And then Range Flash is going to knock out Heatmore. Knocks that out. I get one more energy card. Yeah, it doesn't matter what he throws out now. I just go... Once he knocks out Drizzle, I go for Aqua Report that does, because of the weakness, 260 damage. It doesn't matter what he throws out. I gotta give her credit, though. No, not a lot of people knowing they'd have the weakness to this, to uh, their Pokemon type would really stay this long. To be honest with you, I probably would have given up a while ago. But being truthful, Heat Blast. Tillion's gone. Well played. Because it was. But it's over. Just to make sure he doesn't pull anything, I want to make sure I've got everything set up. Ooh, I just got Inteleon V now. That is one way to just end this, just to make sure that he's gone. <laughs> Max Bullet. So I do that, and I do actually do 60 to one of his bench Pokemon, too. That's it. Victory. I should probably use that Water Dang more often. I'm going to be really good with that one. Not quite enough to get the, the uh, task done, though. Oh, I did 1,020 damage that game. That game. Did I get that pack? Nope. All right. That's going to do it for this video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon fan. Oh, right. I kind of remember start announcing this. Um, I have a new je a channel, a small channel, no subscribers, called Gestures for Hire. Me and my friends are going to be playing Pokemon Unite on that. I've got two videos up on already, so if you want to check that out, I'll try to make sure the link for the to the channel is in the description. But that's going to be it. I thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.